Hello students, welcome back to the next session of basic electrical and electronics engineering. I professor Prithish Shivuthi brought you another topic today that is nothing but a stepper motors from a unit DC machines. We already had a discussion on many different type of DC machines like DC shunt motor, DC series motor, DC generator. One among them is a stepper motor. Now stepper motor is significantly different than DC motor that we discussed till now because in a DC motor that we discussed the entire focus were on torque or output power generated by that particular motor but sometime in many different application it is essential to focus on angle of rotation rather than a torque or average power for example take a case i have an robo over here and i have an object over here and there is an conveyor belt over here and i am designing a robo in such a way that this particular robo will pick this particular object rotate exactly in 90 degree and place that particular object on a conveyor belt so in this particular application power or torque is not much important but rather the angle of rotation or rather the accuracy in angle of rotation is more important right so in this type of motor where angle of rotation is more important than the torque or power in those applications we will definitely need to use a stepper motor that is the only possible option to use is a stepper motor because stepper motor will give you a an fine control over angle of rotation right now how stepper motors are made what is uh, or rather construction of a stepper motor like in any other motor where we require to have a two winding here also we have two winding one is an outer winding that we call it as an uh, field winding and there is an inner winding but rather than using an winding at the center in this example i am going to show you an PM type of stepper motor. PM is nothing but permanent magnet stepper motor. Permanent magnet stepper motor is nothing but whose rotor, rotor means rotating part or rather we call it as an armature. Armature is made up of a permanent magnet. You can see that this armature is made up of a permanent magnet having a two pole, north pole and south pole. That's why there is no winding, there are no accumulator, there are no brushes. So those parts are not required in case of permanent magnet type of motor. So that's why this is a permanent magnet motor because rotor is made up of a permanent magnet. But uh, the outer part or rather we can say stator or we call it as a field winding. In our term, we call it as a field winding. Field winding is made up of a simple winding, right? So this is nothing but a field winding and this is the rotor. Now, in this case, this field winding had one special arrangement in contrast with other windings that we have seen. Can you see that? A and A bar. Why it is so? Or A dash rather. A and A dash. Why it is so? Because whenever I energize A, means current enter from A, then current will leave from A bar. So what will what will happen if I do that? In that case, the end from which current enter will form a north pole over here, and end from which currently will form a south pole over here. So opposite means north will be formed over here and south will be formed over here. So it forms an opposite pole on exactly opposite uh, windings or opposite direction by making this arrangement. Means this A is connected to this A dash. Similarly, this B and B dash are connected in such a way that when B is north then B dash is south and when your B is south, B dash is north. So this is the special arrangement made in a field winding of a stepper motor. Now how this particular arrangement work that uh, it is shown over here. You can see that this is the permanent magnet having an S means uh, S south pole over here and north pole over here. So this is the rotor or we call it as armature but this is made up of a permanent magnet that's why there is no windings above it right. Now see that how A and A dash are connected. So this is A winding coming like this and then this is connected to a dash can you see that that's why whenever i pass a current from this end of a, a winding so that that is why i wrote it as a i a because it is going through a winding so in that case this winding will become uh, or will be forming a north pole and exactly opposite south pole will be formed over here now you can see that the south pole of a permanent magnet is getting attracted to the north pole and north pole is getting attracted to the south pole that is why alpha is equal to zero means angle of rotation in this case is zero now let's do one thing we will cut off power supply of A winding so that is why there is no IA written over here and we will give a supply to B winding from this end can you see that so because of that this pole will become north pole and this pole will become south pole just exactly what happened in this case the from which current enter is north pole and from end from which current leaves is in south pole so that's why this north and this south is formed now see that the magnet was standing over here but whenever we transfer from first case to another here north pole is performed and that's why 
the magnet having an south pole over here got attracted towards a north pole formed on this particular field winding that's why that move that rotor had rotated by an degree alpha and alpha is equal to 90 degree so that rotor had rotated by 90 degree over here and aligned to this particular uh, field winding now again if i cut off a power supply of b winding and again give a supply to a winding but this time if i have given a current from entering from bottom and leaving from top in contrast with this figure where current was entering from a top and leaving from a bottom here i made opposite arrangement current is entering from a bottom and leaving from top that's why this is north pole and this is south pole that's why the south pole which was horizontal in this case is now again becomes a vertical but this time that south pole is transferred from this location to this location right and north pole is transferred from this location to this so motor had further rotated by 90 degree and total angle of rotation since starting it is an 180 degree and so on in next turn we can rotate it by another 90 degree and again the step repeat so this is how we can make a ro motor rotate exactly by 90 degree in each step that is the why the name of this particular motor is a stepper motor because there is an angle known as alpha there is an angle known as alpha every time in each step motor is rotated by an angle alpha so that is why we call this particular motor as a stepper motor because it takes a step in an angle step by step step by step it rotate right and uh, the construction of motor looks something like this uh, outer section and it had a multiple line you can see that there are four line because one is a another is a dash and uh, next is b b dash so there are total four lines and those four colors are clearly visible blue red uh, green and black so those four color indicate this four connection and this is the rotor and generally it is of a square in a shape to differentiate from other dc motor it doesn't mean it can be it can have a circular shape also it doesn't mean it is always an uh, square in a shape and also note that he, uh, we are specifically discussing about the case of a permanent magnet stepper motor but there are other type of stepper motor also where we have an uh, electromagnet rather than having a magnet at a center that is also possible but we are in our syllabus we are confining ourselves to permanent magnet stepper motor only and that's why we will discuss a motor in which there are a permanent magnet at a rotor and there is no wiring connected to the rotor part of that motor so this is about how it takes and step but if, uh, here comes a very obvious question if i don't want angle to be 90 degree let's say i wanted the angle to be 45 degree what can i do there is an another different arrangement in which we can decrease an angle of rotation or rather we call it as a step by two means previously alpha is equal to 90 you can see that alpha is equal to 90 in each case but we can decrease it to half of that by using an mechanism no than as a half step sequence there are two step sequence full step sequence and half step sequence let's discuss about it in case of full step sequence only one coil is energized at a time can you see that red color over here so that is the only coil energized at a time which is in a red color and this blue color indicate a south pole it is a getting attracted to the red color and this red color is getting repelled from a red color right so that's why this motor is rotating in a clockwise direction in which it is taking a step of a 90 degree every time it is taking a step of 90 degree because we are using a full step sequence because only one or rather opposite poles are active at a time opposite poles are active or only one pole is active but in contrast with that in case of a half step sequencing in case of half step it had an ability to take a half step see previously step was 90 degree half step is nothing but a 45 degree right so what happened in case of a 45 degree you can see this particular figure there are two poles red at a time this red pole indicate rather than having one pole if you make two neighboring pole active at a time then the uh, then our uh, we can say um, magnet will align in a center location rather than pointing towards individual pole so can you observe the uh, sequence over here clearly here one by one uh, neighboring pole is made active deactive active deactive and that uh, is rotated in a clockwise sequence that's why our rotor also rotate and rotor rotate every time by 45 degree angle rather than 90 degree angle in a previous case see each step carefully now in this case the rotor is aligned in such a way that it is pointing at a uh, at a center whereas whenever a next step takes place can you see step number seven in case of step number seven you can see that uh, only one to opposite poles are active and two opposite poles are inactive that's why that rotor had rotated by 45 degree again in next step 
two row uh, consecutive are made active that's why rotor is more rotated by 45 degree more and then again in next step it is rotated by 45 degree and so on so like that by making neighboring neighboring field active at a time neighboring pole active at a time we can make it to stable in a gaps of a two teeth we can make it stable in a gap of two teeth so that is why this is known as a half step sequencing half step sequencing helps us in achieving a finer accuracy as compared to previous case so these are about two ways to cooperate and dc, uh, DC stepper motor and now here comes a very important time to discuss about different applications of dc stepper motor i already said where angle of rotation is more important than torque or power so in all those applications we will use a stepper motor such examples of robot we already seen it cnc machine watch watch is very important because angle of uh, one particular rotation is very important for example total angle that our second hand seconds hand capture or covers in one second is nothing but 360 divided by 60 because there are total 360 degree rotation and in each step it takes a or it take total 60 step to cover a entire 360 degree angle or rotation that's why in this case angle of rotation is very important as compared or as compared to power or torque torque or power is not important in case of watch then similarly computer peripherals like printers tape recorders and so on in which angle of rotation is important xy plotter plotter the one which plot a graph like take a case of a earth uh, uh, one which notes an earthquake so in that graph also uh, we are more interested in a location of the pointer than that of the power the next one is a 3d printer like a printer 3d printer also have a very important role to play and that also consists of a stepper motor then ct scan machine radar radar rotate continuously in a uh, 360 degree angle but every time it changes the angle by uh, few steps to get an accurate result so that's why radar is a great example of a in which stepper motor is used similarly satellite then process control system then to control a solar panel to control an antenna where rotation angle is important than that of a uh, power so in all those applications dc stepper motor is used it doesn't mean always a permanent magnet type of dc stepper motor is used because there are many different type of stepper motor but in our syllabus we have only and only type of stepper motor permanent magnet in our syllabus have you understood this so okay so that's it for a day we have already understood a stepper motor in detail in upcoming session we'll discuss about few more topic from unit number two for example numerical of dc motors so uh, in case of any query please feel free to contact us on our contact detail till then enjoy this session thank you